Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at quite possibly one of the strangest Terabibitat figures that there are out there, and this is their Stegosaurus. But you might take note of the fact that this Stegosaurus has a few issues with it as far as accuracy goes, and you would be 100% correct to assume that, and you would also be 100% correct in general, because for some reason we have just a ton of tail spikes back here that Stegosaurus did not in fact have and the only thing that I can think of as far as why that would be is because initially Stegosaurus I believe when it was originally discovered was kind of portrayed with this many spikes on the tail and uh, that lasted for quite a while until they changed it to just the four spikes that we now know and love and are aware of what was actually on the tail of Stegosaurus. So my assumption is maybe this one was just kind of like a throwback to the vintage days of dinosaurs as far as the tail spikes go. And also the plates in general look a little bit too small, a little off. It is really quite nice even if you take into consideration the inaccuracies of the tail spikes. It has a very cool, very flashy appearance to it. And any stegosaurus is always a fun stegosaurus if you ask me. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at the figure right now. So if you start up here with the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt is very small, but does sport some pretty nice detailing for sure. You've got a nice pinkish coloration in there for the inside of the mouth. You can see that it is a little bit sloppy as far as the paint goes. Some of the pink paint has run down onto the lower jaw a little bit, but it's not anything to really be concerned with, I would say. This side, you can see, has not quite enough pink on it, but it still looks pretty darn good. And look how nicely painted that eye is has a nice yellowish coloration with a black pupil there and even has a white dot in there I believe to insinuate eye shine it looks really really cool definitely really well done on the part of Batat as far as the eyes go they look very realistic and they're very nicely painted no real sloppiness with those at all you can also see the nostrils sculpted out at the end of the snout there along with a little bit of a black tip or a brownish tip there to give it a little bit of the beak appearance that Stegosaurus has. Again, the paint there is a little inconsistent. You can see it's a little bit nicer on that side, but not so nice over here. So there are some good sides and bad sides to the overall head of the figure, but as far as the actual sculpt goes, it does look really quite nice. As we start to move back into the neck, you can see some very nice detailing of the neck overall. Really, really beautiful sculpt work for sure. Nicely sculpted out plates that start to appear right here up on the back of the figure You can also see some cracks and crevices in the actual plates providing some pretty nice detailing there as well You get back into this area of the figure you get the uh, shoulder blade there sticking out of the skin protruding from the skin quite nicely You can also overall see some pretty decent skin texture all over the animal along with some very large scales here and there kind of like some osteoderm like scales you can get a sense of the musculature of the figure as well as you come down into the legs you can see the nicely sculpted out feet very nicely painted nails you can also kind of see the elbow back here and the skin bunching up as the leg is pushing into the body so you've got quite a few skin wrinkles and skin folds going on here in the stomach region you've also got some more of those osteoderm like scales right there those very large scales really beautiful detailing in the plates once again Unfortunately, mine are a little bit warped. You can see them sticking out and bending. They're not supposed to do that, but I think a little hot water, cold water should fix that up pretty easily. The dinosaur has some nice girth in the stomach, so it's not any type of a starving stegosaurus. It looks very healthy. Some more really nice skin folding going on back here in the bottom of the stomach coming into the rear leg. Really nice muscle tone on the rear leg. You've also got the kneecap sculpted out there. And again, some more of those very large scales that seem to appear just sporadically throughout the figure. Nice hip bone elaborated right there. As you come down into the lower part of the animal, you've got the foot sculpt there. Again, really nicely painted nails and they are glossed. So they shine quite realistically. The plates continue up here on the upper side of the animal and they look really nice. As you come out into the tail, you've got some pretty nice skin texture again. And then you get out into the spikes and the spikes actually look really, really nice even though there are clearly too many on the figure itself, but they still sport some really beautiful detailing in the actual spikes themselves. Lots of nice cracks and crevices throughout. Even the underside looks pretty darn nice as far as the detailing goes. If we look at the opposing side, you can see some very nice skin texture again as we lead back into the neck, very nicely 
sculpted out shoulder blade there as we come down into the front leg. The front leg looks really nice. It just kind of looks like it's strolling along quite majestically. You don't see near as much going on as far as skin folding or anything going on on this side because you can see the skin stretching both on the front leg and rear leg as both legs are pulling the skin now over here both legs are closer together really bunching the skin you don't see that over here super nice attention to detail on the part of Batat really nice skin texture all over the animal even on the underside you can get an idea of some very nice scales that poke out here and there it looks really cool as you come back up here you've got the hip bone once again there very nice muscle tone in the rear leg You've got the kneecap and then the beautifully sculpted foot with the very nicely painted nails. And then as we come back up into the tail, you've got some very nice skin texture once again. You don't really see too much going on as far as like skin wrinkling or skin stretching as far as the tail goes. I feel like you should see a little more skin wrinkling going on over here because the tail has a pretty sharp turn to it. But over here, you don't really see too much going on either. Regardless, it still looks pretty darn nice. I will say that the overall paint scheme of it looks pretty cool too. Very nice coloration of the green here, and then a beautiful yellow for the underbelly, and then you've got like this reddish coloration for the plates. It's nothing overly flashy, nothing overly complicated, something that could be fairly natural on a Stegosaurus, and I really do think it looks quite nice. As far as a size goes on our Stegosaurus, from the head to the tail, about six and a quarter inches, or about 16 centimeters, somewhere in that range. And for a height, about three and a quarter inches or so, or about eight, maybe eight and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex along with the Attack Pack Colovasaurus and Mr. Robert Muldoon from the Jurassic World toy line. And you can see next to the Stegosaurus here that it definitely is a fairly small figure in comparison to these others. And I would actually say almost an Attack Pack sized figure because it sizes up pretty similarly to the Colovasaurus there, but again showing that it is a decently smaller sized Stegosaurus really nicely would fit into pretty much any collection. So this Terabai Batat Stegosaurus is a very nice addition to the Batat line, but probably not the best figure from the line overall. It's probably one of my least favorite, but because it is so unique when it comes to the tail spikes, and yes I know that is inaccurate, but because of its inaccuracies, I actually really quite like it just because it's so unique. And I think that it's so different than most Stegosaurus figures. And it's also kind of nice to see a vintage, a throwback to the older visual of Stegosaurus. And I understand that the tail isn't dragging on the ground or anything. So it's not a complete throwback. It's not completely vintage. But the fact that the tail spikes are there in the number of eight, you got eight tail spikes there, and that is way more than you see on any current Stegosaurus reconstruction. It just does have that very vintage feel to it, even if it has a little bit of a modern day Stegosaurus mixed within. I think as far as the overall sculpting of the figure, it's also not quite as nice as what you see on most of the Terabibitat figures, as far as like skin texture and everything. But at the same time, it really does have a very cool feel to it, a really awesome Batat type feeling to it and I love that I have a huge soft spot for the Batat line So pretty much anything that screams Batat is always going to be loved by me And that is exactly what I see here with the Stegosaurus I think it does definitely sport some pretty darn nice detailing and sculpt and I think that the paint job is also really quite nice Definitely an appealing color scheme for a Stegosaurus so overall, it's really up to you whether you think it's a good Stegosaurus or not. Me personally, I do like it, but I know there are quite a few people out there that aren't really huge fans of it, so it's kind of hit or miss. But personally, I recommend it. I think you should pick it up. So on Amazon right now, you can actually purchase this in a set with three other Terabibitat figures that are in the same similar size range for like 20 or 25 bucks. So it's pretty darn awesome to get four figures for that good of a price so I will actually link you in the description straight to that listing where you can pick this up along with three other awesome Terabibitat figures right now and I highly recommend that you do because Terabibitat figures are awesome as is this very cool looking Stegosaurus so again check the description head on over there pick up this cool Stegosaurus along with any other Terabibitat figures but before you do that don't forget to please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review thanks for watching